Hello, my sweet students, and welcome to another year of music class. Welcome back to school. I'm so excited to be with you again. For my students, old and new, hello. My name is Miss Olivia, and I'm going to be your music teacher for this year. I'm so excited to be with you again, even if the circumstances are a little bit different. I can't wait for all of the musical journeys that we are about to go on together. So a few things about me to begin. Again, my name is Miss Olivia. I am a private voice and piano teacher living in Orange. I have been teaching at your school for two years now. This is my third year. I love to sing and dance and play instruments and do pretty much everything involving music. I love children. I love plants. And I love my pet rabbit, Bunbury. Say hi! Hi, new students! All right, so we are going to get into the specific details of this class in just a second. But first, I want to just kind of loosen things up. One of my main goals with this class, I'd say my biggest goal, is to just get you comfortable using your singing voices, using your beautiful voices that you already have inside of you. I noticed that so many students are a little bit uncomfortable with all the different sounds that their voices can make. So I just want to loosen things up, play with our voices a little bit, so that when we go to sing, you're going to be like, oh, this is boring. This is easy, okay? All right, so I am on my feet now. I hope that you will be as well because we're going to move around a little and make some fun sounds, okay? So let's start by just rolling those shoulders back. Loosen up anything that you have inside. Just let it go. I'm actually so excited that we are starting this class virtually because it gives you a slightly more private spot to get used to your voice, get comfortable singing, so that when we're back together in a group, you're so confident with your voice. You're just ready to go. You're ready to be a part of a group. All right, let's stretch our shoulders over, our arms over. Mm. And other side. All right, tilt your head to the side other side. Making sure that your loose before your singing is so important for your sound. So now we're just going to play around with a bunch of different sounds. Most of them are going to be animal sounds, but we're going to start with a big yawn. Like you just woke up in the morning, you're going to go ah. just like that. Let's do it one more time. Ah. Very good. So we're going to start with the higher sounds and then we're going to go down. So right now, let's think about an owl. What sound does an owl make? Ooh, 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 ooh. Do it with me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right? Up from the tree. <laughs> and then let's move on. What sound does a monkey make? Ooh, ooh. Something like that, right? Try it. Very good. So next, I want you to pretend that you are a wolf howling at the moon. Ready? Let's do it together. One, two, three. Very good. All right, what are some other fun animal sounds? Let's do a sheep. What sound does a sheep make? Ba, ba, ba. Can you get that little wiggle in your sound? Let's try it. Ba. Or a goat, maybe? It sounds a little like a goat as well. Ba. Okay, very good. Here's a tricky one. What sound does an elephant make? So if you leave your mouth closed and you pretend you have a trunk that the sound's coming through, what might that sound like? Let's try it. Amazing. Or here's another fun one. 
What sound does a pig make? Can you do a little snort? Really get your nose into it? All right, very good. Let's do one last one. I want to do a really low one. What sound does a frog make? That ribbit sound. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. Right? Let it come from here. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> All of these sounds are part of your voice, part of this wonderful instrument that you'll keep inside. So play around with it. See if you can go really low or really high. See if you can do it all in one go. All of these things are so important. See what different sounds you can imitate throughout the week. And it's all going to make you a better singer, a better musician, a better performer, and more comfortable with this incredible instrument that you have inside of you. All right, so let's jump in to the major sections of this course. So since this is our very first music class together of the entire year, let's take a moment and talk about what our music classes are going to look like. A lot of it you might recognize from last year. Some of it will be different. There are going to be four major sections of the class, and that is musicianship, rhythm, songs, and composers. So let's start with musicianship. That's a very big word, isn't it? Let's try saying it together. Musicianship. So what that means is just how to be a musician. The art of being someone who plays and sings music. So that could mean anything from our scales, how to read music, how to interpret music. That is something we're going to be focusing on every single week. And the type of musicianship I want to start with today is our major scale. Our major scale is the building block that almost all the songs that you probably really like are based off of. So any songs you know from school, any songs you know from your favorite cartoon or your favorite TV show, they're probably built off of the major scale. So our major scale sounds like this. And then back down. On a piano, it looks like this. So that might seem a little complicated, but all our major scale is, is a series of notes that gets us from our first note to the very next higher version of that note. Now, because we don't have any buttons to push on our voice like we do on our piano, right? We give each different note a different word or syllable that we sing on it so that we have something to base our progress off of. And we're gonna learn that right now. Ta-da! So here is all of our syllables for our major scale. In the music world, we call these syllables that we use to sing our scales, solfege. And we are going to jump right in. So, here we have do, then we move up to re, then we have mi, then we have fa, then we have so. Then there's a la, then we go up to a T, and then we have do. So that's it. We sing from do to do. You want to try it with me? Let's do it. Just do your very best. That'll be perfect. One, two, ready, go. Do. Bravo! That was wonderful!
Wonderful. So now, all we have to do to complete our scale is to go back down to the dough that we started on. Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Very good. So now, let's try to put it all together. So we're gonna go up and down without stopping, okay? One, two, ready, go. Very good. Okay, so that is your major scale. If you were with me last year, this might be all review to you, but we are going to be adding something new to our major scales this year that I am so excited about, and that is hand signs. So now I'm standing up so I can do these new hand signs with you. You should see them on the screen now. These hand signs are super fun and they're gonna help you with all of your notes so much. So not only does every single note have a syllable that we can sing it on, every single note has a hand sign as well. So let's start with our very first one. For Do, you're gonna show me basically a fist. Then on Re, You've got this slanted straight hand. Then, for me, we're just gonna raise it up so that it's laying straight. Then fa is like a thumbs down. So, you're gonna show me the back of your hand. La is like a curve. T is like your pointer finger pointing up. And then we have do again. So, what that looks like all the way through is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fa, That's all it is. So it might feel a little tricky at first. You might be like, what is my hand doing? It's a lot of new information all at once, but it's really, really helpful, especially when we start using these different hand signs and syllables, our solfege, to learn new music, not just singing scales. So let's try it all together one more time. I promise, one more time. And we'll go super slow, okay? One, two, Ready, go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, Very good job. The second thing that we'll be learning about in music class is rhythm. So if I showed you a piece of music like this, you might notice that a bunch of those notes don't look the same as the other notes. That's because the way the note looks is trying to tell you how long or how short to play that note for. And that is all that rhythm is. It's different shaped notes that we use to show how long or how short you should be playing that note for. We won't get too much into this topic today, 
But for now, I just wanted us to learn about our quarter note. A quarter note looks like this. It's our most basic note because the quarter note gets one beat. So at this point, you might be asking, Miss Olivia, what is a beat? Well, you have your very own beat, right? Your heartbeat. So if you feel it, you feel that different pulse at different points of time, right? A beat is just the pulse of a song. So if you hear a song that is so catchy and so fun that you can't help but clap your hands, that is the beat of the song that you're clapping. You knew it all along and maybe you just didn't know. So let's try right now to clap the beat of this next song. All right, I'm gonna play it and we're just gonna see if we can find the beat. All right, let's start with something a little on the slower side. Sometimes it's easier to find the beat with those slow, mellower songs because there's so much space to them. All right, I'm gonna press play. Let's see if we can hear it. good. So that was a little slower. Did you feel how most of the notes were played on that beat? I hope you did. If you did, that is so, so good. If not, listen in the next song. This one is a lot more upbeat. It's a little faster. Let's see if we can do it. Very good. All right, so that time, I hope you felt that we had a slightly faster beat. Not just was the rhythm faster, but we also had a faster beat. Let's try one more, okay? So this one is also a very fun, bright, upbeat song. Ta-da! So that beat was even faster than before, right? So I hope you feel how these different songs have different beats, but what's important is that the beat stays even throughout the song. All right, so with that in mind, let's take a look at our quarter note. Our quarter note is our most basic form of rhythm because each quarter note gets one beat. So, Whatever you were clapping in our song would have been what a quarter note felt like in that song. Super easy, right? So let's see if we can just clap, let's say, eight quarter notes, okay? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now we'll learn a lot more about why, but I'm gonna let you in on a little sneak peek at next week's lesson. Most of the time, our notes are grouped in to sets of four. So instead of clapping eight quarter notes this time, how about we clap to four two times? That might seem a little confusing, but just follow along with the notes that are on the bottom of the screen. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do that one more time. And if you haven't joined in with me yet, this is your moment. Let's do it all together. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, that brings me to our third section of our class, and this is probably my favorite section of our whole class, and that is songs. Yes, we are going to be singing probably one song a week, more or less. 
And I think it is such a wonderful way to learn some new words, to learn some new music, to get experience with different styles of music. I think it is the most fun part of our entire class. So next week, we will be learning a song that's going to help you with your major scale. Some of you, I bet you can guess what it might be. But this week, we have two, yes, two, very important songs to learn. And that is our welcome song and our goodbye song. So in my music class, we start every single class with a welcome song, a hello song, and a goodbye song. So let's jump right in and learn our morning song. All right, so our welcome song is called Good Morning to You. It's super fun, super short, and it gives you a good chance to see how we usually learn songs in music class, which is I'm going to put the lyrics up on the screen, and then I'm going to sing one line of it, and then you're going to sing it back to me. And then we'll move on to the next line, and then we'll try it all together, okay? So here's our starting notes. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places. With sun shining faces. Oh, this is the way to have a good day. Very good. So now we're going to sing it together. So at the same time. So you don't have to worry about listening to me first. We're just all going to sing it together, okay? One, two, ready, go. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. We're all in our places with sun shining faces. Oh, this is the way to have a good day. Ta-da! Super simple, right? So the very last step in learning our music and performing it is I'm going to give you just a little bit of accompaniment on the piano. Nothing crazy, just a couple of notes here and there. Okay? So this is how you're going to hear the song when you start the classes from here on out. So let's start singing it together with the piano so you'll be prepared. One, two, ready, go. Good morning to you, good morning to you, we're all in our places with sun shining faces, oh this is the way to have a good day. And that is all there is to it. Ta-da! Very good job. So, what will happen the next time you play one of my music classes is before you even see my face, you are going to see a slide with all the words on it, and my voice is going to come in with my piano, and we're going to sing the song before getting started. All right, so now all we have to do is learn our goodbye song. So our goodbye song is called See You Later Alligator. It's also pretty short, it's super fun, and let's get started. We're gonna learn it exactly the same way we learned our good morning song, okay? Here's our notes, here I go. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. I'll see you 
again next time. Very good, and that is it. There's just one difference. We are going to be singing this set of lyrics, set of words, two times through. And then, at the end of the last time, we do one extra, I'll see you again next time, just for a little razzle-dazzle. So at the end, you'll go, I'll see you again next time. I'll see you again next time. Okay? That's the only difference. So, there are a couple of little fun moves that the students like to put on this song. You don't have to, but they can make it extra enjoyable. So, let's try singing all together, and I'll show you some of those moves, okay? One, two, ready, go. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, bye-bye, butterfly, I'll see you again next time. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile, bye-bye, butterfly, I'll see you again next time. I'll see you again next time. And then your butterfly can just kind of float off screen. Very good job. All right. So just like before, there's only one more step we need to try, and that is performing it with our piano. Okay. So let's give it a shot. One, two, Ready, go. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye-bye, butterfly. I'll see you again next time. See you later, alligator. That is it. Very good job, each and every single one of you. So, you will have an opportunity to show how well you learned this song at the very end of this video when, like in all the classes, the goodbye song flashes across the screen at the very end. So, I hope you listened well. I hope you're ready to sing it with me then. All right, so the final section of our class is going to be composers. So a composer is anyone who writes music. Anyone who creates music that's going to be performed. So if you make up a song, you can be a composer too. A composer is anyone who writes music. That's just what the word means. And we are going to be looking at one composer every single month. So we will have a composer of the month. So we won't have anyone specific today because next week is September, and I want to start on a good, clean start of the month with our very first composer. So next week, we will be meeting our September composer. I'm so excited. But for now, you can prepare for what that's going to be like by thinking about some of the music that you listen to during the week. Think about what kind of instruments are being used in that music. You probably have a singer. What other instruments maybe do you hear in that music that you're listening to? Think about how that music makes you feel. Do you listen to it because it makes you feel happy? Do you listen to it because it makes you feel excited? Do you listen to it because it makes you feel sad or mellow or whatever it may be? Be. Those are all amazing observations and the kind of observations I want you to think about when we listen to new music from a different composer throughout the month. So I think we should just do a little practice round with some random music. Okay? So I'm going to play some music for you and I want you to think about whether the music is fast or slow, 
how it makes you feel, what different instruments do you hear. If you struggle to hear instruments, start with this. Do you hear one instrument or do you hear a bunch of instruments? That's already an amazing observation to have. And if it's hard for you to figure out how the music makes you feel, think about maybe what part of a movie you might hear this music in. And then you can kind of figure out what the composer's trying to make you feel with it. All right, so let's listen to our very first example. This is nothing too special, just some random music for us to listen to. All right. What did you hear? For me, it kind of feels like it would be in a spy movie or maybe during like a chase. So I hear kind of dramatic music. If that's not what you hear, that is totally okay. I definitely heard some drums in there, right? Definitely some throughout the music. Those are the kind of things I want you to be listening for. Let's move on to our next example. What did we hear that time? Let's start here. Did you hear one instrument or a lot of instruments? I heard just one instrument. I heard just one piano throughout that piece. So if you want, go ahead and press that rewind button about 30 seconds and see if you can hear it as well. Otherwise, I heard that it's a lot lighter than the first piece we listened to. It feels very fancy, right? You can imagine very fancy people in their dresses and their suits dancing to it, right? It feels a little bit more old-fashioned than the piece we listened to before. All right, let's do it just one more piece and see what we hear on this one. I think this is my favorite of all of them. Oh, it's so fun. It has definitely more than one instrument. I heard some, maybe some drums or some castanets. And then I heard an instrument that I bet you are really familiar with. I'll see if I can mimic it. It's a guitar, right? So, this piece, what does it make you think of? For me, it feels very summery. It feels maybe a little bit Spanish. And it's a lot more rich than the piece we listened to before. It's not quite as dramatic as the first one, but it creates a mood very, very effectively. So these are the different things I'd love for you to think about in the music that you listen to during the week. It could be your favorite Disney song. Think about whether it's a song sung by a hero or a villain. It could be maybe some instrumental music that you use to fall asleep at night. Think about what instruments you hear or how that music makes you feel. These are all amazing observations that are going to help you be such a better musician and such a Okay, so those are our four main sections of music class. We made it through all of them. Huh. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You did wonderfully. 
I can't wait to continue teaching you guys this year. We have so many fun things to learn and do and sing. I hope you have a wonderful week and that this class worked well. Parents, feel free to reach out to me. Let me know about the sound quality, the timing of it all. It's kind of strange just talking into the void. I will put my email address at the very end of the lesson. Feel free to reach out with a getting to know you. Tell me about all the things you love and if you have any pets or what your favorite songs are. Feel free to record yourself singing the song and have your parents send it to me. I love all those things. I can't wait to get to know each and every one of you so much better. So that is the end of our music class. Congratulations, you made it through. The only thing left to do is sing through our goodbye song. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. I'll see you again next time. See you later, alligator. I'll see